Hey guys, what's going on and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a review and a wear test of the newly launched Lacmaze Lumi Skin Cream. Now I do have extremely oily, greasy skin and I usually stay away from products that says glowy, dewy or loomy. But then I received this product yesterday and I tried it out on my arms. It kind of absorbed pretty quickly. So that kind of intrigued me. And uh, hence we have this video right here. So before we can get into the application, the wear test, and my final thoughts do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it notified whenever i upload and now let's jump right into the video so first let's go over with the features now it says that it's a moisturizer plus a highlighter for a 3d glow so basically it is a lightweight moisturizer hint of a highlighter and it gives a 3d highlighted glow and it is suitable for all skin types now this is priced at 299 rupees for 30 grams of product and i picked this up from nika it comes only in one shade which i would describe it as a pearly whitish kind of a color so this is how the packaging looks like which comes in this whitish kind of a squeezy tube and at the back you have all the information and this is how the consistency is it is a pretty light and it blends pretty well you can see the shine now you can see the shine on it which is pretty good and now let's move on with the application so my hair is out of my face and I have super zoomed you guys in and my skin is already oily so I'm just gonna quickly blot all the oil away so we haven't started the video yet and my skin is already oily so i have only done like my eye makeup but the rest of my face does not have any product at all now for the application it says squeeze a little moisturizer on your palm apply little dots all around your face blend the moisturizer and enjoy your 3d highlighted glow now this product does not claim to be pore filling so if you do have pores i would suggest using like a pore filling primer and then going over with this but uh, yeah for today i'm just gonna use this and straight up with the foundation okay so i've taken a little bit of the product and just gonna apply to one side of my face face now it does have a strong fragrance and if you are sensitive to fragrance as such then uh, yeah you should avoid this okay shiny so this side with the lumi cream this side without any lumi cream And another thing is that you need very little product. I still have so much excess that is left and uh, I'm just going to apply it on my hands. So for my base product, I'm going to go with my usual how I always use, which is quite long lasting as well. I'll just show you guys only the foundation application and the rest of the products, I'll do it off camera. Now for foundation, I'm going to go today with the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hours Fresh Wear Foundation. And this is in the shade 260 Golden Sun. <music> So this is with the Lumi cream and the foundation and this is just the Lumi cream alone. Okay, so this is one of my favorite foundations and it gives a nice soft matte finish and I can still see the glow on my forehead and on my cheeks as well. So yeah, so far so good. Now I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup off camera and I will be right back. So this is how the rest of my makeup looks like right now and uh, I have ensured that all the products that I have used are matte. The only highlighter that I have used is on my inner corner of my eyelids. Okay, so when I applied the Lumi cream, the time was about like 12.40 or 45ish and uh, right now the time is 1.16 or 1.17 p.m. So yeah, I will be back as soon as my skin gets oily. Now this foundation does last for like about 6 to 7 hours on my skin and then the oil kind of comes through. So yeah, I do have to film another video and uh, as soon as I'm oily or greasy or anything of that sort, I will let you guys know. Okay, so I am back and the time right now is about 4.47 
11 p.m. So it has been like a solid four hours since I applied the Lumi cream. And uh, yeah, this is how oily I look like. Let me just zoom you guys in and show you. So this is not like super oily, but right now it does feel oily and it feels a bit heavy. So this is when I would be using my blotting sheet to remove off the excess oil, which I'm gonna do right now. But otherwise, this is how everything looks like. So there is a bit of a shine which is peeking through all the high points of my face uh, by the way on my lip area it is kind of matte is because i did a lip swatch video so i had to like put a little bit of foundation but apart from this area alone everything else has been untouched so yeah we are going to remove off all the excess oil so one blotting sheet later this is how my skin looks like and it is pretty fresh and nice i can still see a bit of glow through the foundation and uh, that's a good thing so yeah all right so let's go over the formula and the pros of this lumi cream now firstly it is a very liquidy gel like consistency and a little goes a long way with this cream as well as it absorbs into the skin pretty quickly now the formula kind of a little bit reminds me of the pons light gel moisturizer i'll insert the picture of which one i'm talking about so it is kind of like that formula wise along with the lumi shine to it if that makes sense so this gives a very nice luminous glow to the skin and even if you apply it like under the makeup or mixing it with the foundation it looks really pretty and also it makes the foundation apply much more smoother so yeah Another pro is that it comes in a squeezy kind of a tube which is very travel friendly and lastly the pricing is pretty good for the quality that you get. And now for the FII, the first point is that these do have small shimmer particles which is visible only when you use like a flashlight or LED light or direct sunlight. The second point is that this Lumi cream does have like a very strong fragrance to it. So if your skin is kind of sensitive to fragrance, then I would recommend skipping this product. The third point is that if you have a dry skin, then you may have to add another moisturizer before adding this Lumi cream. Again, I'm not so sure how your skin is, but for dry skin, if it's like super dry, you may have to add another moisturizer. If you have normal skin, this will be great for you. And if you have an oily skin, this is a pretty good, decent moisturizer. Not that great, not that bad, but it's decent. Now, if you have pores or very oily skin like mine, then I would recommend using like a pore minimizing primer or an oil controlling primer before you apply this Lumi cream. Now, this one does not claim that it is pore minimizing or oil controlling, but just for oily skin people, FYI. And now coming to the cons, there is one point personally and that is the fact that once you apply this cream, it does absorb into your skin pretty quickly, which I had mentioned before. However, the shimmer particles is kind of left over or on top of your skin. So I will put up a video side by side. So in one of the video, it is in the normal tube light or indoor lighting and it looks normal and fine. However, the same hand under the LED light, which is there in my bathroom, by the way, my bathroom has LED light. So over there, you can clearly see the shimmer or glitter particles that is shining through. Oh, another thing that I almost forgot to mention is that the shimmer particles will not be visible when you apply your foundation or your concealer. Now, uh, today I have used like a medium to a full coverage foundation. I am not so sure about a sure coverage foundation. I do not own any, so I cannot comment on it. But uh, yeah, for a medium to full coverage foundation, the shimmer particles will not be visible under flashlight or LED light as well. So overall, in my personal opinion, if you're going to use it as a standalone product and if you're not going anywhere outside, it's just going to be indoors you're absolutely okay and you're good to go but then if you are going to be in contact with direct sunlight or flash photography or led light i would not kind of recommend this using just on its own rather i would suggest using it along with like a foundation like under your foundation under a bb cream cc cream or under a compact or mixing it with your makeup products. Oh, and also if you have like dry skin, like I said before, you may have to use like another moisturizer, but that again depends on your skin. If you have normal skin, you're fine, you're good. And if you have oily skin, you may have to use like an oil controlling primer beforehand, or else you will have to blot or do touch-ups every three to four hours time. So yeah guys, these were my thoughts on the Lakme Lumi Skin Cream and this wraps today's video, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so notify whenever I upload as well as like the video and comment down below. If you have any questions or requests, I will try and it for you as well as follow me on my socials, which is Ishanayar on Instagram and Ishanayar on Twitter as well. So until the next time, take care.
बाय